Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomics video on economic efficiency. So going straight in into our information section, our overall de definition of economic efficiency is this. Economic efficiency is how well resources are allocated in order to maximize the output and go of goods and services in the economy. And the key point there you want to get is to maximize the output of goods and services. So the most efficient economy is the one which has the greatest output or production of goods and services and it makes sense the economy that is producing the most is the one that's the most efficient uh, but there are many different types of economic efficiency which we can have a look at just now so in the top right you need to know that economic efficiency can be measured in a few different ways you can have static economic efficiency which is how efficient the economy or a market is at a particular point in time so static just one point in time and dynamic economic efficiency is how efficient the market or the economy is over a period of time so static efficiency is efficiency measured at one specific point in time and dynamic efficiency is efficiency measured over a period of time next we have productive efficiency in the bottom right and an economy will be productively efficient when it is producing at the lowest cost possible. So it says there, an economy is productively efficient when production is achieved at the lowest cost possible. So essentially, an economy will be productively efficient if it's producing things as cheap as possible. That's, that's all that means. So, and it also says there, a firm is productively inefficient when it is producing above the minimum cost. So productive efficiency is all about how cheap you can produce things at, quite simply. So you are productively efficient if you are producing at the cheapest cost possible. And one point to note here, it says technical efficiency or technological efficiency does not necessarily mean productive efficiency. And this is because, for example, technological efficiency might mean you can produce more. So I might have a machine that can produce more than five workers, but it might cost me more to run and have the electricity for and maintain and have an engineer for that machine then it might cost me to just employ the five workers to make the same amount so technological efficiency does not necessarily mean productive efficiency it might be cheaper for, the, for me to have those workers so therefore the workers would be productively efficient but the machine would not be and finally we have allocative efficiency and allocative efficiency is achieved when resources are allocated in the most efficient way so when we are using everything in the economy in the most perfect way in terms of efficiency if we are running at full efficiency by everything being used in the best possible way and this occurs when nobody could be made better off without some without making somebody else worse off and that is because I can only make somebody better off in the economy by giving them more resources but if I'm using all of my resources in the most efficient way, that means I'm going to have to take those resources off somebody else because I'm working at full efficiency. And this is where, when you are working at allocative efficiency, the economy is working on its PPF. Because if you think back to the PPF, if I increase the production of, say, good A from 200 to 300 units, that means I might have to cut the production of good B from 400 to 150 units so that means that I'm making somebody better off by producing more of one thing but I, ha I have to make somebody else worse off because I'm working in the most efficient way already my resources are already allocated in the best way